to think at 1980, there weren't that many things around that you could wear that said, listen, I live in Sydney, it's you know, quite a sophisticated place. But, you know, I'd been to Acapulco, I'd been to Portofino. I mean, I knew what, you know, a bit of experience about what the world was like. So that was one thing, that was putting a drawing on something, repeating the singular effort. The second thing was, I made some posters of a couple of drawings of shells, very disciplined drawings of shells. Drawings that were reasonably easy to like, I think. And I, I had them printed myself. So, you know, maybe I got a thousand or two thousand posters. I think there's, and I used to go to shops around Neutral Bay and Mossman and I'd walk in and I'd say, look, you know, my name's Ken Doan, here's a, here's a poster, I'll sell it to you for $10, I reckon you could sell it for 20. And so that's how that happened. So there were two things. One was the repeating of the singular effort and putting it onto something that people could wear. And the second thing was making a, a very easily understandable and, and, and um, a kind of a drawing that most people would like and probably could live with at a very cheap price. It was the drawing of the shells, which I might say, we're still selling those prints. They're still out there. After 20 years or 25 years, people are still draw, making, making, uh, um, buying that drawing. Now, I've, I still own the original of that drawing, and we've probably made, I don't know, 25, maybe, maybe made 50 grand out of that drawing. I'm not sure. But it was repeating that effort, which is just like the music business, isn't it? I mean, if you're in the music business and you said, well, I'm only going to get money when people come to hear me play live. Well, no, not unless you really become, you know, an astronomically uh, well-known figure. You'll make money out of CDs or, or, or uh, I was going to say records, which shows you how old I am, Bill. Records. Uh, but that's how you make it. Reaching a wider audience, repeating that experience.